Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I am your host, Ravina Rastaban. And I know I said in my previous video that my next video will be on the dark sided Taurus female. Uh, please stay tuned for that. That's in the making. But I just wanted to get this little short video out because uh, something that I read in this Tarot Facebook group that I follow um, just prompted me to do a little video about uh, reading styles. The styles that some uh, psychic readers, tarot readers, uh, rune readers, what have you, uh, utilize in the course of providing readings. So you basically have uh, two different types of styles when it comes to reading. You have the people that will just sit the client down and they'll just start laying out the cards or they'll just start, you know, uh, laying out the runes or the calorie shells or what have you, whatever tools they use to divine information without getting any input from the client or without, you know, having the client ask a question. Then you have the other camp that will want the client to ask a question or will want some input from the client before they begin the session. So I'm of the latter camp. I prefer that my clients come to me with a question. It doesn't matter how trivial um, it is. It could be very serious. It could just be about something, you know, very tri trivial, such as, you know, should I go to this party on Friday? Um, but I feel that having clients have a question or a concern up front empowers clients and it gets them more actively involved in the reading process. For those people that just read um, and they don't ask, you know, what the, what's on the client's mind, they don't, you know, have the client have a question or concern up front, they just start laying out the cards and, you know, saying what they see. I feel that that's kind of a one-sided and also even arrogant approach because Basically, the room, uh, the reader is assuming that they know what's on the client's mind or they know what the client needs to um, ask or they know what the most pressing concern is. When sometimes the information that comes through uh, from the cards or the rooms or what have you is not what the client is concerned about. So, for instance, um, you could lay out the cards or, or whatever divination tools you use and... A situation involving the client's mother or sister or it could be their lover comes up and you're seeing information that the client didn't even want to know that they're not even you know concerned about and next thing you know you're creating unnecessary problems challenges and difficulties simply because you're you're pulling information that wasn't even um, solicited by the client so Oftentimes, these readers do hit the mark where they can tap into what is exactly on the client's mind or what's weighing on their heart. But I feel that, you know, these readers are taking a risk in pulling information that may not even be of concern to the client and that the client may not even need to know at the time. And once they have that information, that alters their future and their perspective, and that can create unnecessary difficulties. So, and I also feel that that is not empowering the client to take control of their destiny or even to take control of uh, the reading. You know, I believe in empowering people and people having um, as much free will as possible. So that free will and empowerment, in my opinion, it begins with that initial question or concern. Now, I will do readings for people where they just, you know, tell me, you know, can you look into my future? Can you look into the next three months and tell me what you see? But even in that vein, I will dictate, you know, according to what tools I'm using. And I will, you know, try to pinpoint certain areas of that person's life just to narrow it down. So if they're telling me, you know, just look into my future, well, I'm going to narrow it down. So I'm going to take their love life and look into that relationship. Or I'm going to take, you know, their job situation and look into that. Or I'm going to take their life purpose and look into that. And that way, it not only makes the reading more accurate, because you can really pinpoint certain key areas of that person's life, but it also, you know, allows things to be more focused and have more intent and purpose. And things aren't as broad and vague. As a reader, I never want to. Um, I never want my clients to walk away feeling confused or 
lacking clarity or feeling like the reading was vague. I like to be very on point, very direct. And one of the best ways to do that is getting a clear understanding of what the client is looking for and the type of help that they're seeking and the type of guidance that they are in need of. When you just start reading for a client and you know, you're not really trying to see what's really on the client's heart or mind or what's really, you know, really provoking them to seek a reading, then I feel that you're not really empowering that client and you're running the risk of doing a disservice to that client. Now, you know, some people might prefer that other approach and if it works for them, that's great. However, I am of the uh, type where I do believe in empowerment. So, um, Leave a comment and let me know what type of reading style you prefer. Do you prefer the type of reader that just lays the cards out or the calorie shells or the runes and just starts telling you things that they see? And a lot of people that do like that type, they're the type that like to be amazed. They like to be dazzled. They like to be stunned. And the thing is, even when people give me questions, I still do manage to amaze people by what I tell them and what I can see. And I do, you know, still manage to stun people with my accuracy, but that's not my intent. My intent is to provide people with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, clarity, and guidance, and insight. And if I happen to amaze people along the way, well, that's just the icing on the cake, but I'm not here to amaze people with my psychic skills and abilities. I'm here to help people and to help people have more control over their lives and be more empowered when it comes to their decision making. So that's my explanation on why I have the reading style that I do. Please comment and let me know what type of reading style you prefer. Um, I'm still not going to change up my approach because it, it works for me. But it, if the other reading style works for other people, you know, that's all good. But that's just my reasoning and I just wanted to get that out. Stay tuned for my next video. Peace and blessings.